hello guys welcome to the ninth tutorial of html and uh, in the last tutorial we saw that how to put images in your html document and in this tutorial we will see something more about the images like how to align the text with your images and also how to float your images float to the left float to the right so, so and uh, also how to make your image a link for something so these three things we are going to cover in today's tutorial so first we will go to our uh, html document that we prepared in the last tutorial and uh, yes this is our html document uh, we have put a uh, image mango.jpg and uh, this time i had actually reduced the size of uh, 100 into 100 so that uh, the texts uh, could be a bit comparable when they are put si beside the image. So the first thing that we are going to see is to how to align your image with a text. Okay, so first uh, here, yeah. You can see that I have put the image inside a paragraph because we are going to deal with some text so it's better i put them inside a paragraph so that i could arrange them properly so this is our file i save this file and yes i refresh it so this is my html document so far so now we are going to add some text and see the relationship the location relationship of text and image when they are put side by side here I'm going to write this is a text line save the file and now refresh it yes so we can see that uh, the text line is um, at the bottom of the image so by default the arrangement of text line is at the bottom of the image if they are put uh, just side by side in your document so how are we going to change that this is what we will look at right now yes so this is our code and now we can uh, we will see what we can do here so there is an attribute for alignment and that attribute is fortunately is align so we will add here let's put it top we will save the file Save the file and now refresh it. Yeah, now we can see that the text is at the uh, near the top of the image. And there are three possible values of align attribute: top, bottom, and middle, not center. Yes, in the middle. Now if we give it bottom. then it will be at the bottom of the image this is also the default one so if you do not use any attribute if you do not give any value to align attribute you do not specify it in your document then this is what you will see by default so this was one attribute that i was talking about now another one is uh, making your image a link so this is very easy actually for making a link again we have to use our a tag a tag href and http dot www dot yahoo dot com and now we will put our whole image inside the a tag normally what we do is we define a tag and we put the text that we want to make a link inside the starting and closing a tag and with this starting tag we always use our attribute normally we do that if we have to make our image um, a link then what we will do is we will put the image whole this whole tag inside the a tag to make it a link 
remove it from here control s now we will see what happens yes you can see that this is an image and here in the bottom you know here let's look at it uh, look at this part when i put the cursor on the mango image yes you can see www.yahoo.com here now i'm going to click on it and it will take me to yahoo.com okay so this is the way we make an image a link now two things are completed so we are going to remove this code because because now we have to show how to float your image when there is a lot of text what we saw earlier was there was just one sentence and we wanted to show the relationship of our image beside one line now if you are writing a paragraph then you just want to put your image either to the left or to the right and you want your word um, alphabets letters to wrap around the image you don't want to first to write the whole uh, text then your image or image then your text you want to put your image somewhere to the left or the right so for that we use a property and uh, that property is again a line but one thing you must be cautious I'm going to write a lot of text here yes this is the one control A control C yeah I'm going to write a lot of text here so where should I put uh, paste the test should I paste it here before the image or should I paste it here after the test um, image actually to make your align attribute work you need to You need to put the test after the image otherwise you will see now you will not see the effect the image is floated for the text that is written after it so we are going to paste our text here okay so now we have written left so our image should be left floated let's see what happens yes you can see that the text is wrapped around the image and our image is left floated so now if we make it right and we are going to refresh it yes you can see that our image is right floated you can do some hit and trial you can put it middle but then you know this will be the middle that will work with the first line here it's not your floating it's your alignment yes now this happens so for floating there are only two attributes left and right if you have to float it do not use middle center anything for floating it's left or right for alignment it's top bottom or middle so that was all about link there are certain other things that you can do with the uh, image sorry images and uh, yes but as far as our tutorial is concerned that was the second and the final part about images so guys do tell me how do you like the tutorials and also uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will be waiting for your suggestions about how i can improve the tutorial and yes if somebody has any suggestion about uh, what to do about uh, those first 10 seconds when the video quality is really poor you can only hear my voice so also su suggest me on that i'm working on that but i'm using quick time and that is really not helping me so that was all thank you guys bye happy html learning